We have a very special treat here for you tonight. This is Stephen Mantis, and I'm about to call a match between this rather unsavory individual MVP, Michael Von Peyton, who is managed here tonight by pretty boy Preston Perry. And he'll be taking on the nearly seven foot tall giant, Darko, who is in the ring right now as MVP already goes to the outside. He's very displeased that the crowd was chanting Darko's name not too long ago. Of course, both pretty boy Preston Perry and Darko are going to be in the Great North Wrestling number one contenders battle royal June the 4th in Smith Falls, Ontario. And Darko will also be wrestling the 500 pound Soa Min on that card as he just shoves MVP down almost as if he's only a fe feather. And Preston Perry will be taking on fabulous Jacques Lamoureux on that card in Smith Falls as well. Preston Perry will be managed by Asana on that night, who is not at ringside tonight as we see MVP take Darko into a headlock, but Darko picks him right up and sits him on the top rope. As you see the look of fear in the eyes of MVP now, and you can't really blame him. Darko is just a massive individual, 330 pounds. As we just see him bash a right hand right into MVP's face and MVP goes down. There's a second one and MVP is already on the mat again. Darko picks MVP up now, launches him off the ropes. Big clothesline sends MVP down to the canvas. And I was speaking of the June 4th Great North Wrestling event in Smith Falls earlier. Tickets for that event are on sale now at the Rito Winery in Smith Falls, the Smith Falls Memorial Center or ticketweb.ca more information on that event at greatnorthwrestling.ca as Darko just misses a leg drop lands right on his leg and MVP the wily veteran capitalizes on that mistake and is just going to work on the leg of Darko of course other Great North Wrestling events coming up in the month of June here as we see Preston Perry the referee was distracted and Preston Perry just wrenched that leg over that wooden corner of the ring it's almost a handicap match here as MVP and Preston Perry are double teaming Darko. The other wrestling event from Great North Wrestling in June will take place June the 25th in Pembroke featuring WWE Hall of Famer Nikolai Volkov. You're not going to want to miss that one if you live in the Ottawa Valley. It's been a while since we've been there and this event is not going to be one that you're going to want to miss. Huge card coming up in Pembroke. And for all of the information on upcoming Great North Wrestling events, visit greatnorthwrestling.ca for all of the news on Great North Wrestling. Darko's knee is taking a lot of punishment in this match thus far. So we see a step over toe hole type maneuver here. But MVP bashes his shins down right on the knee of Darko. MVP weighs in about 230 pounds. He's no small man. He looks small compared to Darko, though. Darko just kicks MVP off. Almost sends him flying right out of the ring. But MVP follows up with another boot straight to that knee of Darko's. It's a good game plan here by MVP to take out the man's leg. Keep him down on the mat. That takes the size advantage out of it as we see pretty boy Perry just bashing the leg of Darko on the outside of the ring there. The referee is distracted by MVP. He's missing this. Referee John Maloney turns around. But he didn't see Preston Perry double teaming Darko when he wasn't looking. Of course, John Maloney is a Great North Wrestling official. Wait a minute. Turn around. The official missed that, but he may have just snapped something in Darko's leg. Preston Perry just wrenched Darko's leg right around that steel post. That's absolutely unforgiving steel there. Now MVP staying on that leg. As I was saying, John Maloney is an official now with Great North Wrestling, but he will be having his retirement match from in-ring competition June the 4th in Smith Falls, where he does live. It's his hometown. He's a city councillor there, and he's going to be taking on Jeremy Prophet, two-time Canadian champion Jeremy Prophet on that event as MVP misses some elbows here on Darko. Of 
course, there's been a lot of build-up between that match between Maloney and Profit, but Maloney's going to have his work cut out for him. Jeremy Profit, like him or not, he's one of the toughest wrestlers in Great North Wrestling, and he has a lot of experience. Maloney will have this hometown advantage, and he has been training very hard for that match. But D Jeremy Prophet is just a very, very good wrestler, and he's going to be very hard to defeat. As Darko just nailed MVP right in the face with a boot to the jaw. Sends MVP down to the canvas. Pinfall attempt here by Darko, and this could be it now. MVP kicks out. Both men have taken a lot of punishment in this match by this point. They're both having problems walking, particularly Darko, who has really had his knee cranked on throughout this match. He's going for his finishing maneuver here, the choke slam. He's got MVP by the neck. MVP reverses it, kicks Darko in the ribs, and DDTs Darko. I don't know how much of that mask of Darko's absorbed that DDT, but he does not look to be conscious right now. MVP needs to make it over for that pin. But he almost appears to be distracted on the outside now by Yves Duray, the steel warrior who's the ring announcer for this match. Now Preston Perry's talking to the ring announcer. Of course, there's a long history between MVP and Yves Duray. They are both from Rockland, Ontario. They're former tag team partners, but MVP turned on them. Now they're inviting Yves in the ring. They need to focus on Darko who seems to be creeping up behind him. I don't think they realize that Darko's standing up now. They're distracted by Yves, who's not even part of this match. We're going to see a double choke slam here by the looks of it. Darko has both men. But he just took a super kick to the face by MVP. MVP just picked him up right now and is going for almost a rock bottom type maneuver. But he seemed to be having problems executing that properly on Darko due to the sheer size of Darko. But again, he needs to be going for the pin. A veteran like MVP should know that you need to make the pin to win the match. He's going for this maneuver again on Darko. A swinging rock bottom type maneuver. Now he's going for the pin this time. But Darko kicks out of it. I think Darko is too big for that move to work effectively. As we see Preston Perry now very upset that this match is not going their way. If they hadn't been distracted by the ring announcer, Yves Durang, earlier, they may have had a chance of finishing Darko off by now. they got to get themselves together if they want to pull off the victory here. Darko still appears to be limping from that leg injury. MVP setting him up for something, but Darko has him by the neck here. MVP pushes Darko off. Preston Perry's got his leg now. That's not right. Darko grabbing Preston Perry now. MVP charges Darko, but Darko gets out of the way and he smashes Perry. Now Darko blocked a super kick. He has MVP in a choke slam. MVP just goes nine feet in the air, crashes right down to the mat. He may have a broken neck. And of course, that's all she wrote here tonight. The giant Darko picks up the victory. He will go on to Smith Falls to face Soa Min and enter the 20-man number one contenders battle royal. Go to thehannibaltv.com for all the latest information on GNW.